<laughs> I don't know, I always thought this was a great music for an 8-bit game. Um, hello everybody, and welcome to a response to Let's the Let's Play Challenge of Let's Challenge Kid Icarus by Sweet Victory. Well, I suppose... Are you not going to let me go up and down? Can I... Okay, I can look up and down. Um, well, Awesome Sauce did the recording, but it's both Awesome Sauce and Sweet Victory's channels, so I guess credit goes to both of them. <laughs> but anyway, um, everybody, I am OXFU, and my challenge right now is to get, hopefully, to get past the second level of this, the NES, the NES game, Kid Icarus. And again, hopefully that will happen. Um, I've done it a couple of times. Uh, I actually challenged them to get past the second level a while ago, before I had been able to do it. And they... Uh, awesome Sauce was not able to in 18 minutes and a half. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is to get past there in that time. If I'm not able to, if I go, well, I'm, I'm gonna pretty much try to go until either I give up, which is probably going to happen because this game is, I, I, I'll have to go over that. It's not really that hard of a game, but it's, it, I consider it, well, a difficult game, um, for me. <laughs> so, I will go until I either get past where Awesome Sauce got, um, until I get past the second level, or until I just feel like it's been 18 and a half minutes. I forgot to put on a timer, so this is going to be very... Oh, I'm already almost dead. This is going to be very, very... This is going to be very rough. <laughs> a very rough 18 and a half minutes. Um, in any case, I will try my best and probably fail horribly. So, <laughs> don't have any great expectations for me. Oh, how did... I was going to say, how did you not see me? I was just standing right there. Oh, so um, this is actually one of the things that Awesome Sauce was talking about. Um, this is a pair, uh, treasure room in Kid Icarus, and I think, ooh, let's see if I, I remember how to do this, because the thing is, um, based on the number of hammers that you get in those three jars that I broke open, you can find out where the death is. Now see, I forgot that um, if you get two hammers, that means he's in the middle jar. What you want to do is you want to break open that jar last, and it'll actually give you a special item that you'd have to pay money, or in this case, hearts, otherwise. There we go. Um, but in any case, I don't remember what I was saying. So, <laughs> but that's okay. Who cares what I was saying anyway? Um, no, before I had actually challenged them to get past the second level of Kid Icarus. I had not been able to do it myself. You can kill those deaths but down there. It's just, it takes quite a while. And if they see you, they'll summon those little four deaths. And they're just a pain to take care of because they follow you all over the screen. Yeah, they only take one hit each, but they're just... They're, they're, they're painful. <laughs> Alright, so there is the first level. 111 stars, not bad, not... could do better, I could... I think I've, I've gotten like 156 is my highest, but it's not shabby. See, what tripped me up the most was actually these Squidward guys right here, because... Squidward Tortellinis. 
um, just because, you know, I, I never really, I really realized that they had a pattern. I just figured they would go after you, but they never actually, I, I've never had them actually go after me, which is really weird. Oh god, I almost died. Um, as Awesome Sauce showed in his video, if you go off the edge, you will die because it's one of them games where that is the main danger that you cannot go back down. Uh, very Ice Climber-esque, I suppose. Isn't that what the main thing in Ice Climber was? You had to just continuously go up? I don't know, it's been so long since I played that game. <laughs> I'm almost dead again, jeez. Stop talking for a second and pay attention to what you're da doing, Goramit. <laughs> oh, um... No, those are the least of my worries now, because there's actually an enemy that gets a whole lot more irritating a little later on. Oh, come on. See, I hate how these enemies just continuously respawn. No, go, 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 go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now I'm just, like, living off of one hit, though, so I gotta be extra careful not to hit any of these enemies. Not usually this bad, either. Well, at least not lately. Oh, well. That's the one thing I do like about this game, though. You, you die, you don't start all the way back. Sacred words, there's your password to get to the level, but you just start it back at the beginning of the level. I mean, it makes things a whole lot easier. I mean, and one of the things Awesome Sauce was saying when he did the challenge is... I said this was a hell spawn of a game. And it was, it was, because I didn't know for the longest time that you could actually point up with the bow. I thought you could only point left. <laughs> oh, did the same thing Awesome Sauce did in his challenge video. I fell through the ice by ducking. Um, but no, for the longest time, I didn't know you could actually just point your bow up, which made dealing with these guys, the Squinter Squidward tennis balls, hell of a lot easier. Just because, well, you can aim up at them. <laughs> But you could only aim left and right, which made actually hitting them just a nightmare. And no, it's he compared it to Castlevania, um, saying, yeah, it's difficult, but it's not Castlevania hard, which is his... Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, his gauge for how, how difficult a game is. And... No, I'll agree with that. It's not as hard as Castlevania, but I still think it's pretty difficult. Um, the parts of themselves are not that difficult, but once you put them all together, that's when I consider it nightmare food. Now, I love these guys, because these guys are just here in order for you to get hearts and make more money, but for the longest time, I couldn't tell what they were. They look like Groucho Marx glasses. Well, now you're going to have to scroll, rewind the video. <laughs> and look, but you know those, uh, the fake mustache and glasses that you could buy at joke shops and, well, Walmart and places like that. Not really joke shops, but you can buy them anywhere now. Um, or wherever else you want to buy them. Just using Walmart as an example. Um, but no, they look like the fake nose, fake mustache, and glasses that Groucho Mar that are the Groucho Marx fake fake face. Now, this guy's the black market. You can buy stuff from him, and I didn't mean to go out, but his stuff is very expensive, but you can actually get an item that allows you to buy some of them on credit, and I think he actually carries items that you can't get from the regular merchants. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I might be getting a cold or something. But anyway, death. Death, god damn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for the, him to go by, grab the health, and duck into the door. There we go. Make some more money. Make a lot of money at the gala. <laughs> yeah, look, they, they look like the, the Groucho Marx glasses. I mean, I, I'm telling you, that's gotta be what they are. Either that, or they're just like some weird squid thing. But I can't. <laughs> I don't... I don't think so. I'm doing really badly, because <laughs> I'm busy commentating. 
Uh, excuse the noise. Um, I'm actually recording this on Sunday of this week. Uh, so my folks are watching the Super Bowl downstairs. As if I could give two craps. But I decided since I'm not doing anything, might as well record, you know? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Um, so, one of the things you can actually do at these places, um, you're gonna notice I don't really have enough to buy anything. Almost, though. Darn. Um, this acts as a, as, as a fairy, it'll regenerate your health after you die. This acts as a safety net, it'll fling you up from the bottom of the screen if you fall. And this just replenishes your, replenishes your health, as you've seen before. I'm not gonna get that right now. But if you have a second controller plugged into the NES or the emulator, if you actually press A and B, if your power level is above whatever level you're on, I don't know how it really works, um, but it's something like that, you can actually force the merchants to lower their prices for you. Now this, this is one of the parts that gave me the hardest trouble because as you see, I actually got hit. This is actually a lot, uh, very similar to a part of platforming from the previous stage. Because it's pretty much exactly the same. But the previous stage didn't have enemies flying through it. <laughs> and for the longest time, I would just get stuck at this point. We're actually past the part that Awesome Sauce got, because I think he only got to um, death at that last door. So right now, I, be I have beaten him in the challenge. But, I- whoa, goodbye enemies, <laughs> just unspawn. Um, I am actually going to try and completely- Oh, come on, there we go. Whew, that was close. I should not have taken that risk. I'm going to try and completely beat the challenge and get to the second level. Now the problem is, I've got to get past this guy. This guy is a death that you cannot evade gonna see you every single time and then you got these deaths to contend with fortunately they have you have the sides of the screen scrolling thing and you can just snipe them if you don't do that <laughs> and run into them unfortunately I'm, I'm trying to talk to you guys so I'm, I keep running low on health not too big of a deal though because I think we've still got a few more minutes that we can yeah we get a few more minutes I think that I can try to make up for lost ground. Um, actually, no. I am going to just take as long as I, I need in order to get to the second level. Um, I am going to beat the challenge because we are not we were not far from getting to the second level. I'm actually just going to grind for some hearts here so we can have enough money to get um, the fairy bottle or whatever you want to call it once we get up higher. Um, but yeah, I, I have I have succeeded in what I set out to do. I have gotten further than Awesome Sauce did. So I can now pull this challenge response complete. But I am going to complete complete the challenge. And I've just said the same thing three times in three different ways. What am I? Mojo, Jojo, 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 Jojo? <laughs> like that episode where Bubbles and gets, like, Mojo Jojo's personality and, well, starts <laughs> phrasing things five different times, five different ways, and they meet up and he's insulted by it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I always like that episode. I always like the Powerpuff Girls in, in general, so I don't think it really counts that I like just like that episode. Oh, shoot. I thought we could get away with hitting you. Oh, well. Just gotta live on one piece of life again. One sliver of life. <sighs> and you know what? It, it was the hardest thing for me to actually be able to beat those rooms, too. Until... Um, awesome Sauce took the challenge because I had never noticed that those Groucho Marx guys actually went on a pattern. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care about your illicit wares. I've got a date with Squidward tent poles. <laughs> I think we 
can wait for him to turn back. There we go. Yeah. All right, we're, we're, we're pretty good, actually, for this part of it. We've got our health. We've got our dignity. Uh, we don't have our dignity. What am I talking about? And we're going to lose all our health on this. <laughs> I would not be surprised, seeing as how well... Oh, come on, what? That was my fault. I would not be surprised seeing how well I'm be I, I've been doing on these the past few tries. The problem is, a lot of them have been going diagonally, which you usually have, like, at least half of them go sideways like this. And they're just easy to take out that way. Otherwise, you have to place yourself, like, right in their path so that, well, you can take them out while they're coming, while they're bearing down on you, and that's just not a good plan in any case. Whoa. Alright, I am going to get the fairy bottle this time because I think it's only 350 hearts. Gotta wait for these snake guys, though. These serpents. Just wait half a second. Wait for the most opportune time. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> and I can actually show you something else once I get this. Thank you very much! Why, thank you. Now, if you wait a little while, he will actually restock his wares with different stuff. Unfortunately, he didn't restock them with what I wanted because I wanted the hammers, because he'll sell hammers for, I believe, 20 hearts each. I think if we wait a little while longer, they might restock. No? Anything? Anything? You're not going to do it? Oh yeah, don't fall on the sides. Those pits of lava will hurt you. Oh well, whatever. We got what I wanted. But those hammers that I collected earlier, last level, when I collected the harp, and all the enemies turned into hammers, are actually useful. Not very useful if you're only playing the first couple of levels, but they're useful once you get past, I think, the first stage, because there's actually a way to level up Pit, so that he'll have more health. And it's based on the score, and the way you increase your score the most is by collecting those hammers. I think you have to get, like, a, a 20,000 point score in order to get the first level up. It's kind of steep, but... And it just stays as steep um, for subsequent... Uh, for subsequent... Subsequent. Uh, for subsequent, subsequent level ups. So, it's kind of worth it. I don't know, kind of being the operative word right there. <laughs> well, I mean, it's definitely worth it because you're going to be gaining points anyway if you want to get any of the items. Because all of your points pretty much come from beating enemies and collecting hearts. So why deny yourself that? At least he doesn't hit you by, by being there. Okay, I'm just gonna... No, whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay, spaz out there, little guys. You gonna disappear? No. Got one of you. Got another of you. Cool. <laughs> I just love how zany the music is also when he sees you. There we go. Ha ha! Ho ho! And this is actually the furthest I've ever been able to get before... Uh, awesome sauce did my challenge because like again I, I had gotten this far before today and this is where we can level up our bow we now have level two strength so we can actually we'll do twice the damage and we'll turn green because <laughs> we ate pretty patties or something like that oh what are you doing up there death <laughs> being completely useless now I hate these guys these guys are a pain, because they'll just keep jumping up and go past the screen. At least they can't go down, though. And there you go, we have reached level 3. So I have both completed the response and the challenge. So now I will see how far I can go before I will die. This will be fun. <laughs> there will be death. 
most indeed. But no, this has been... I actually was able to get past it this time, which last time I did the challenge, because this is the second time I'm recording this, uh, because the first time I was actually... something screwed up with the audio and the video, so they didn't actually match up or something like that. So I actually had to just... I, I decided to just record it again for... make it easier on myself. Plus, I got the chance to do the challenge again, so ha ha ha. <laughs> but no, last time I wasn't actually able to get past the second level, so here you go. Here's the completed challenge. At least if the audio doesn't screw up again, but it shouldn't because I used a new emulator that actually works with fraps. Which is the problem that I was having with ooh, the old one with... F-C-E-U-X, I think it's called. Is that it did not... Oh, we don't... I don't have the money. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. Okay. I can. Haha! -ha! Oh, well, that does... That does jack all, jack all for me. I don't have enough hearts. <laughs> uh, what was it? But no, I'm actually using Nestopia because... I, Everybody been telling me, no, 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 you can't, you can't record using fraps on most NES emulators, and I'm just like, but, 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 I need to. <laughs> and NES Topia actually works very well, because I guess it uses the, I guess the difference is that uh, NES Topia use, uses Direct 3D or something, whereas uh, FC EUX doesn't. Right? No hammers. One hammer. Okay, now I know where this guy is. He's up in the top right. So what we want to do is we want to break the top right pot last. And we get a barrel. And this lets us carry... Uh, it lets us carry bottles. I think those are... the. I think they're the, the bottles that act as the fairy from Zelda. That just completely replenish your health. Plus, we get all these nice hearts. And once we collect all the treasures, we're kicked out. But that's okay. Didn't want to be there anyway. Oh, if only we had one of those fairy bottles right now, it'd be a bit of a help. I don't touch these little Nautilus grabby thingies. Because those will hurt you if you pass through them. You can stand on the platforms that they're coming out of, but don't touch them themselves. Because <laughs> they will hurt you. I'm not going to show it off, though. But see, you can actually stand on the platforms themselves. They act as, like, spikes or something. Oh, gosh. And these guys. I hate you so much. I'm going to try to outrun you, but I'm going to fail. Oh, death. Alright, so that has been... I should have just waited and jumped half a second later. So that has been... Let's respawn to the challenge of Kid Icarus. No, not Kid... Yeah, Kid Icarus. <laughs> I almost called it Kid Pit. Uh, with Mio X Fu. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And... I don't know. That's it, I guess. Ah, jump, jump, jump. Could have used the turbo, but that's cheating. <laughs> Machine bow. Alright, so see you guys later. Take it easy.